goes, what would you think about going to medical school in Israel? <laughs> and, and I'm like, whoa. <laughs> and I thought about it and I was like, let's give it a shot. My name is Ksenia Persolovich and I'm a third year medical student here at the Teams program in Haifa. I graduated from the Technion in um, 2004 and came to Boston for my, uh, my internship. My name is Madeline Fields. I'm an assistant professor at Mount Sinai Hospital in Manhattan. My name is actually Sarah. I'm actually from France and Morocco. My name is Aaron Winterstern. I'm an MD-PhD student here at the Technion. A lot of uh, what I know today, the foundations were laid down at the Technion, you know, the basic medical education. What drew me to the Technion was the significant, first of all, the name that it has. Well, Technion, of course, is known for the research. I heard that it was a very good school and that uh, they had two Nobel Prize winners, so I figured I'd give it a shot. Everything that was said was that it's a great a broad opportunity. And I prefer coming here because my strong interest for research. So that's how I decided to come here. Looking back at uh, the four years uh, at the Technion, uh, I really have only uh, fond memories. The small classes allowed uh, myself as well as uh, many of my colleagues to shine. The course structure, it's more tuned to an American graduate. The school is, is very rigorous. They, they give you a very rigorous medical training. It's very in-depth. It's hard. You have to work a lot and to be very responsible and mature about it. They're, they demand a lot. And, and for me, the challenge is really exciting. My name is Aran Alan, completing my one-year fellowship in uh, head and neck reconstruction uh, and microvascular surgery. In retrospect, the uh, Technion program was outstanding in its preparation. We were overly prepared in terms of the level of, uh, of our uh, medical uh, background and understanding. First year was very tough, and uh, second year is actually very, very, very interesting because we're going to the hospital, we have contact with the hospital. Within the first year or two of my PhD, I came across some very, very influential people. Oftentimes, they're teaching you about the very thing that they do research on, which makes them experts in their field. They're brilliant scientists. To be exposed to people who have made such contributions to science is inspiring and, and it's great. The resources, the research opportunities, the Nobel Prize people that teach you on a day-to-day -day basis, because um, that's something you don't get over here. So definitely, this school opens up doors. This, this school attracts high caliber professionals and just by being here you interact with these people. We have an amazing opportunity where a student can work with a top professor in their field and anyone in the United States, in Russia, in Europe will know of this professor because they're well published because, and of course it goes far. Anyone you know is always a plus. I would say from my standpoint, the strong suits of this experience was first of all living in Israel, which was for me a, 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 of, of importance. Israel is a really an amazing country. I fell in love with it, not only with its people, with its resources, with the diversity. It's so rich in culture and tension, political tension, diversity, and I'm here now, you know, and, and that's so exciting. I, I'm definitely having a great time here. Aside from the fact that if I was in Montreal studying medicine, I'd be probably freezing right now. Weather aside, it's a great, it's a great situation. But uh, yeah, so that's I'm having a good life here. That's nice. You can grow not only as a medical student, as a professional, but also an individual with broader knowledge and education. People, when they, when they see the Technion name, they obviously see the Nobel Prize. To know that we have access to these people and the ability to, to do research or even do a thesis or a PhD with these people is, uh, you know, people find that very interesting and it definitely can draw somebody to, to the program. I'm happy. That's the way I study, by coming to class, listening to their experience. That's the way I'm studying and the way I'm learning, so I'm happy about that.
But I think the benefits of this program really, from my standpoint, uh, really outweighed uh, any experience that I could have uh, expected here in the United States. It was a little tough along the way, but uh, the program requires you to have a lot of motivation and a lot of desire to, to, to achieve and to be successful. And if you do that and you do strive to be your best and to do your best, you can achieve anything in the program. The fact of the matter that I'm doing a PhD in one of the best uh, stem cell uh, research labs in the world is, is unbelievable. It's something I, I definitely am very happy that I came to this conclusion to go into.